Right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So we are seeing the aftermath of uh, the G4 TV cancellation. And one of the individuals that seemed to clap and applaud like a drunken seal to the frog's urine rant, uh, frosk, frog's urine's rant, uh, was Adam Sessler. And this is an in interesting individual because he his, his Twitter rants are, boy howdy, they're a thing to behold. You want to watch, like, I don't know, like an infantile adult man? Head on over to his Twitter. It's very, very funny. Very interesting. But, of course, G4TV's been shut down, and now he's ranting about it, even though he literally has a part to play in it. So I thought we would take a look at this together. Uh, before we do, ladies and gents, just as a quick heads up, uh, I'm live streaming again on Tuesdays and Thursdays. The live streams won't appear here on this channel afterwards. I have another channel just for live streams, uh, for them to be sort of archived as well as clips. It's in the description box. Please do check it out and subscribe. Um, love to have you guys. There's very interesting conversations being had. It's not just me. It's a panel of interesting people having conversations about pop culture and movies and just general bits and pieces. So you'll find it linked in the description box. But for those that want to search it, it's just Mistake Reviews Live Archives. So check it out. But let's get into this, shall we? So two-time, I mean, what an amazing title, two-time former G4 TV host. Adam Sessler has an unhinged meltdown and threatens physical violence following network second shutdown. Again, this is what I mean, but literally legendary meltdowns. This guy is, he's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. So we've got this article here. It says, in a completely adult response to reaping the negative effects of the own uh, poisonous rhetoric he sowed, two-time former G4, G4 host Adam Sessler has responded to the network's second shutdown by lashing out against critics and levelling childish insults against anyone who offers him a modicum of pushback. And this is the thing, right? Like, you know, the regular like clockwork, something happens... You know, people reap what they sow in terms of uh, negativity. You know, they literally say, if you don't like it, don't watch. So people tune out and then they're like, oh, you, you're an ist, you're a phobe. And it's like, if I'm an ist and a phobe for not watching your rants about privilege and nonsense, yeah, sure, whatever. Like, I don't care at this point. Call me whatever you want. Um, anyone critical of anything these days is, is just insulted and lambasted. So, yeah, this guy goes mental. <laughs> So, yeah, it was shut down less than a year after its re revival. And the real sad thing about this, I did a video, the real sad thing about this is that most people found out via Twitter, which is really disgusting. It's sad. Um, but this is the CEO, anyway, uh, said, Over the past several months, we worked hard to generate that interest in G4, but viewership is low and the network has not achieved sustainable financial results. Uh, this is certainly not what we hoped for. And as a result, we have made the very difficult decision to discontinue G4's operations effective immediately. And it was all because of this pig spine of an individual, frog's urine. Um, yes, that is, uh, supposedly, I'm led to believe, uh, a female. So in light of this far from unexpected news, this is the thing, everyone knew this was going to happen. Everyone knew. Apparently, uh, he didn't though. Like, this is how warped and up their own ass these people are. He literally had no idea this was going to happen. It comes out as a massive shock. It's like, yeah, you'd think everyone knew. You'd think you'd prep. Uh, Sessler took to his personal Twitter account to wish his now former co-workers well in their future endeavours. Uh, which is nice. He says, you know, I want to send my best wishes to some of the best and most talented people I've ever worked with. Please hit me up if there's somewhere I can help. You're all too awesome to not find your way. Big love. Uh, however, he then went further. <sighs> And to those misguided who need to send vitriol, go right ahead. I'll keep taking your hits like I have for 20 years. I'll still be here, just caring about the good people who got jacked. But you didn't care that much because you are part to blame, Adam. The lack of self-awareness is staggering. Absolutely staggering. You are literally part to blame. Uh, and then someone says, yeah, you're, you're been, your inability to listen to any criticism, no matter how valid, for 20 years is staggering. 
Uh, and then he replied with, your ability to listen to me without any regard for independent thought for 20 years is quite staggering too. What? The childishness, the immaturity. Your ability to listen to me without any regard for independent thought of 20 years is quite staggering too. Is he saying that this guy just like listened to him and didn't didn't consider anything else for 20 years or is he is he is he critiquing the fact that this guy can't think like what what is it that doesn't make any sense a little bit more context was needed in this to make it an insult because you could take this either way that this guy listened to him and his reviews and was like oh this is quite good this could be an insult to you adam you've literally almost insulted yourself you dipshit uh, and then someone says, I'm sure a washed up middle aged man like you will be back on his feet in no time in this roaring economy created by the Democrat Party. Excited to see your next project. Good luck, sir. Just remove the politics from it. His response was funny. So it's just, just ask your mum, I'm fine. Like, uh, okay. Um, and then it just it goes from just bad to worse. Uh, so <laughs> someone wrote, got woke and went broke. <laughs> And he had a complete meltdown with it. He says, do you fuckwits have one writer who only knows one rhyme? Also, like a real adult, unlike your mum, I have multiple incomes. Go fuck a sheep again, you desperate Nazi. It's like, sorry, what? Unlike your mum? Are we now Are we now at the stage where we're doing mom insults? Oh yeah, no, they continued, by the way. The mom insults continued. Oh wow, so we're embracing stereotype and unironically using... Yahtzee as an insult for people who disagree with us. Adam, while we're over here being adults, maybe we could maybe, maybe we could also grow a thicker skin and not uh, lower ourselves to your mum jokes. Just a thought. Your mum's got a thick skin. What an absolute child. <sighs> and it just continues further. Grown man resorting to your mum claps. This is how grown adults cope. I mean, I could consider funding a house candidate in your district that cuts off all federal funding so you have to haul your daughters off to make ends meet while I drive by laughing or I could make fun of your mum. This is so warped. Does he think he's like a multi-millionaire or something? Uh, don't worry, don't worry, Adam. That guy ain't procreating and if they did, oof. And there's other people just kind of chiming in. That's my worry. But again, these just continue. Your mum, ask your mum. She's proud. Uh, and then he tweeted this out and says, So I had one hell of a therapy session, ran some math, and the novelty of when I started on ZDTV in 1998 with a nascent internet. And I think I might have one of the longest records for consistent online hate. Not the most. Nothing to be proud of, but humanity. No, you you do get out what you put in. I mean, you are, you are your Twitter is almost like a constant stream of hate. It's just disgusting. And again, even further, right? Um... <clears throat> Uh, I have a feeling to bust your ass, but you're in Panama City, which is punishment enough. Truly the most disgusting place I've ever seen. First time I heard the word dark as code for black people, I thought they had an electricity problem at first. Wow. I mean, he... What? Without context, again, not good. Not a good look, mate. I'm just threatening people. And he continues further. You little bitch, all I got is people. I'm ready to turn the cap around my head. Let me know who you are. I actually came up when shit was hard. Plus, yes, like you just hide and yell. Ah, oh, it continues. Big shout out tonight to those that run G4 for making my life more miserable than usual when I have barely been working for them in the first place. In for a penny, in for a pound. Pounding, sorry, for your BS. I mean, what? So he's just ranting at G4. Mate, you were part to blame for this. Like, do you have any accountability in your, in your bones? You're an absolute asshat. disgraceful why don't you try building your own channel i'd love to see him build his own youtube channel because i think i don't think anyone would watch it you, you might get jobs based on your history and your name within that but if you were to try to build an actual captive audience i don't think people would tune into you i think people would just check out because you're just an asshole.